Let's do this q and A. I'm sorry it took so long, but I'm a lazy shit and stuff came up. And by the way, I was in a live stream recently, like I mentioned in the last video, but with the Dishonored Wolf. I suggest you check it down. I'm going to leave a link down in the description. It was lots of fun. Check it the fuck out. Now let's get into the questions. Mad Stim Man asks, would you join me in doing some coke with my Filipino ladyboy crack whore? Cheers. Oh, but of course, my friend. But of course. Meech asked, Would you fight Ginny McDerp in a charity boxing match? Obviously. I mean, is it? I'm assuming the charity that we'd be boxing for is AIDS research, right? Yeah, definitely. And Batshit Crazy Coulter asks, If you had one superpower, what would it be and how would you use it to kill Ginny McDermott? My superpower would be uh, whenever someone files a false DMCA knowingly that they are struck down immediately by a bolt of lightning and they die. How it would kill Jenny McDermott is pretty obvious. Saito, whatever the fuck that last word is, how much deeper would the ocean be without sponges? Um, I don't know. Fucking Google it. I don't fucking care. How, am I, how the fuck am I supposed to know that? What am I supposed to infer from that question? Fuck off. Fuck you. The Dishonored Wolf asks, Why would you like your own Twitter comments, you fucking scrub? Well, I like my own Twitter comments because everything I say is fucking golden. And I think I need to uh, express that. Smoking Joe asked, You do any mind-altering substances? Um... Well, if by mind-altering substances you mean hallucinogens, then no. But if you mean any drug that would change your mood or um, personality, then yes. Um, I drink a lot of alcohol. And I mean a lot. <laughs> um, not even in just social settings. Maybe just when I'm at home and I'm bored. Um, yeah. Next question. Ghosty asked... What is your opinion on Pitch Perfect? Um, it's a very um, stupid movie. I don't really like it. I only saw number two. But, um, yeah, I thought it was quite stupid. I fell asleep in the drive-in theater whenever I was watching it. Yeah, next question. Revered Moores asks, How does it feel to be part of the worst generation ever, or knowing that you're a millennial? Um... I would not say that my generation would be the worst generation ever. I say that um, the current, uh, whatever the current generation is, is going to be the worst generation according to um, the uh, elder generations. Um, for instance, back in the, the 90s kids, uh, the teenagers of the 90s, uh, they were um, violent video games and Columbine and all that shit. Uh, they were considered the worst generation. Um, but now that the torch is passed down to us, um, I do feel that, uh, my generation is very hypersensitive and they don't have a thick skin. I don't think most of the people in my generation can take criticisms of any sort. Um, and I, honestly, they're babies. They're whiny babies. <laughs> it's the truth. Like, you can't say, hey, you, you're a little overweight without them saying, FAT SHAMING! No, you're fucking fat. Fuck off. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Next question. Cisphobia based fag asked, Are you pro or against rape? I'm, of I'm a fucking against rape. Is Hillary a reptile? Yes. Who sucks more, Jink or Anissian? Um, I'm gonna have to go with Jink because he has, um, I mean, Anision is not very uh, respectable, but Jink, in some instances, is. And sometimes, his word is taken better over Anision's. Um, but Jink is very, very pro-Islam, even whenever Islam does incite violence on groups of people. He says, homophobia has nothing to do with Islam. You, you know the, the, um, the common thing. Um, but uh, 
it does. Homophobia does have to do with Islam. Sorry, Jink. Jizz Patriot asks, When did you become gay? Um, I'd have to say, whenever I discovered selfies exist. Like, this one. Or, I guess, if you don't like that one, there's also this one. No, but, uh, really, I'm not gay. I'm bisexual. There's a difference. Because I like both. I could stick my hand down someone, some random person's pants, male or female, and be happy with whatever I find. Blake MC, whatever the, I don't know, fuck your name. Pizza rolls or bagel bites? Um, bagel bites taste better, but I eat pizza rolls more. Uh, so I'm gonna have to go with pizza rolls right there. So, yeah, if you don't like that answer, fuck you. What's it really like being a child genius? Um... Well, I'm not a child genius, I guess, in the sense that um, uh, my intelligence compared to others in my uh, school, of my peer group, um, I would be <laughs> more intelligent than most. Um, but I do like that. It gives me a smug sense of superiority, and I like that a lot. If you could take over the world, how are you going to do it? Well, if we're going by the board game risk rules, I'm going to say start with Australia, because if you control Australia, you control the fucking world. So, uh, yeah, that's my answer. So, fuck you. Um, Dinmon asked, what's your opinion on people saying I'm going to move to, I don't know, Canada if uh, uh, Trump is president or America is just the worst country? Those people are idiots, and they say this every election cycle. Um... Or any time a big law is passed, like when gay marriage was legalized, um, people said, Oh, if gay marriage is legalized, I'm going to move to Canada. Not knowing that um, gay marriage in Canada has been legal for 10 years. Um, and people that say America is just the worst country uh, are wrong. Uh, move to Saudi Arabia. Uh, yeah, thank you. Tommy Long asks, Why you gay, bruh? Why aren't you gay, bruh? I'm gonna answer your question with a question. Why aren't you gay, bruh? Fuck you. I want to. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, William Peter asks, Opinions on presidential candidates. Um, I made a video on Donald Trump expressing why I don't think he should become president because in short he's a con man. Um, that was back when Bernie was in the race, though. Um, I like Bernie, but, uh, Hillary Clinton, I don't think she could become pre- I don't think she should be president either. I say they both suck, and, uh, everyone just stay home, don't vote. Yeah, next question. Fuck this person's username asks, top five horror movies. Also, what's the funniest thing you've ever witnessed? Um, I'll give you a couple horror movies that I like. I don't necessarily have a top five. I like, um... Halloween, and, um, that's about it. Um, I'll, I guess, is Alien considered a horror movie? I'm gonna go with back in the day, yes, back in the, whenever it first came out. So, Alien, um, Aliens, yeah. Um, mm, funniest thing I've ever witnessed, um, I once saw someone plug a power outlet in, like, one of those extension cord power outlets into itself and wondered why it wasn't working. Oh, I've also seen someone try and microwave their phone to charge it up. So, yeah. Just Dante asks, um, do you ever deal with idiots a lot in real life? Um, all the time. My parents are idiots. Uh, so, yeah. Anyways, next question. Um, this person asks, what is your favorite type of macaroni and cheese? I don't fucking know. Mac and cheese? I like mac and cheese. Fuck that shit. I don't fucking care what type of mac and cheese it is. I'll eat it. Yeah. It's my answer, bitch. Um, how much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Um, I don't know. Uh, fuck you. Trying to do them tongue twisters on me. Go fuck yourself, piece of shit. Uh, next question is... Uh, for Q&A, do you have any f strange or funny experiences with relig crazy religious nuts? Uh, yes, I'm going to share one right now, but I will be doing, uh, I don't know, a story time sort of video on it. Um, 
my old pastor told us to burn Harry Potter because Harry Potter would have been stoned to death in real life. Yeah, uh, that crazy. What's your political position? Um, he says he's right-leaning. Um, I am a liberal. Um, not a uh, regressive cuck liberal, but I'm a liberal. Um, which kind of pisses me off because I feel abandoned by um, other left-wingers. Uh, I've been asked. I've been in discussions with people I know, um, mainly SJWs that attend my school, and uh, they say, I thought you were a liberal. Why are you espousing all these conservative beliefs? And it's like, they're not conservative beliefs. You're just a fucking idiot, you fucking moron. And it pisses me off when people call me conservative when I'm not. <laughs> In fact, one uh, idiot told me um, that since I support, uh, I don't support, but I uh, respect people's freedom of speech, even hate speech, I respect their right to say it. That makes me a conservative. She said, I have a conservative brain with some liberal points of view. And I'm like, no, you're a fucking idiot. You don't tell me what I am and what I'm not. <laughs> uh, actually, freedom of speech is the essence of being a liberal, you fucking moron. Whatever rant is over. And you can probably tell that's a true story because I'm getting angry. Yeah, whatever. The last question is, have you ever experienced SJW brainwashing in high school? Um, yes. Yes, I have. Um... In health class, uh, we had this, uh, uh, I don't know, rape uh, counselor come in to talk about sexual assault and, um, I don't know, some stuff. It, she didn't talk about sexual assault, though. She talked about how jokes can harm someone and how you should be careful about what you say and what you joke about because you never know what happened to someone. And uh, she asked a question like, Okay, if someone tells a jo a rape joke in front of someone that's been raped, what do you do? Or not even someone that's been raped, just a woman in general, what do you do? And someone in the class said, punch that person. I'm like, you're a fucking idiot. I stood up and I said, you're a fucking idiot. You don't punch someone for them saying something that you don't like. Ask me more questions because I'm going to be doing another uh, Q&A video thing. It's going to be a series, I guess. Whatever. Bye.